Hello and welcome everyone, Our Heart here, and today I've got a first look at the brand new DLC for Stronghold Warlords, The Art of War. Designed for Stronghold veterans and skilled warlords alike, the Art of War DLC is now available for Stronghold Warlords. With six missions, two unique warlords, an added challenge, players will become the master strategist himself in a new Chinese campaign following Sun Tzu's legendary battles. Today's release also comes along with a free update for existing players, adding a new map pack with the Sun Tzu AI opponent, free build invasions and other content added to Stronghold Warlords since launch. It's out now on Steam and GOG and you can buy the Art of War DLC during its launch week for 10% off the regular price of $4.99. So check it out now, link to it is in the description if you want to pick it up. But yeah, big thanks to Firefly for giving me early access and for sponsoring this video. We're going to dive straight on in to the new Sun Tzu campaign and aim to play through the first mission. If we do that quickly, we'll go on to the second one. Uh, but I'll be playing through the rest of the missions over on my Twitch, recording them at the same time and uploading them here over the next few days and weeks. So let's take a look at the intro. After the fall of the Western Zhou Dynasty, many states vie for dominance in a constant flux of rivalries, wars, alliances and betrayals. Slowly, they have been whittled down to 12 great powers. In the chaos of war, any side could prove victorious, but one faction threatens to upset the balance. Under King Tao and his military leader Nang Hua, the Chu have been growing rapidly, absorbing enemies and allies alike with brutal cunning. Desperately, the other states now seek alliances to protect themselves against this great force. Their best hope lies in the Wu who stand at a critical juncture on the Yangtze River and possess a weapon which may tip the balance in their favour. Okay, so there's six missions in the Art of War Sun Tzu DLC campaign, and all of these missions have been designed with veteran stronghold and Stronghold Warlord players in mind. A lot of player feedback has gone into crafting uh, extra challenge in these missions. So we'll dive on into the first one, the province of Wu, and see how tough it is. The toil of war has been devastating. States are falling in all directions, with warlords unable to keep their populations from disintegrating, as crops fail and people leave in search of more prosperous lands. King He Lu of the state of Wu knows that he cannot move on the offensive until his own rule is secure. He turns to his trusted commander, Sun Tzu, who has built a reputation for his ruthless enforcement of discipline and obedience. Okay, so his first mission, we've got to unite uh, the land, bring all the other warlords to heal. We've got to survive invasions from the Chu state, though, while doing so. We've got to conquer, capture all the warlords in the region by force. That means you cannot uh, capture them through diplomacy. You can upgrade them with the diplomacy points, but we will not be able to capture them with diplomacy. We have to take them over by force. We need to protect our lord at all costs, and there is a time limit on this one. We've got to complete the objectives before time runs out. Now, I have dived into this mission, played the first five minutes just to familiarize myself with what's going on. Uh, so far, it seems pretty darn challenging. We're going to give it a go on hard difficulty. I'm not an absolute maverick going for extreme, not just yet anyway. So we'll play it on hard. I'm going to take a look at the hints and show you show you these because they are quite helpful. Um, so it says use your wood pile effectively at the start. So be careful what you build. Um, find some early gold. So find a way to increase your tax or find some resource that you can easily um, trade and sell for a profit. Uh, choose the order you capture the warlords wisely. Like, I feel like this should have multiple underlines because from my initial little play five minutes of this mission uh, before recording, that seems super key to being successful within the time limit, at least. Uh, you've got to use the warlords' own defenses against them. You'll see that in a minute when we dive into the map. Uh, capturing the Panda Warlord. So there are, uh, I think there's two new Warlords with this DLC as well. Uh, the Panda Warlord is one of them. Uh, they will help uh, with defense and boosting your economy. Invincibility lies in the defense. The possibility of victory in the attack. Um, so, with those wise words, let us begin. A 
message from Sun Tzu. The state of Wu will fall if loyalty is not upheld. Do what you must to return it to me and my king. Okay, so I'm just going to pause it so we can have a look around the map, gather our bearings, take a look at the situation because we have um, 59 days and 20 hours uh, to uh, to do this mission in. So the new Panda Warlord, there's one down here. There's also uh, one up in the north as well. There's a Horse Warlord, Crane, uh, Mouse, Dragon, and Tiger. And uh, we can just go to the, so we can see the uh, the estate's Toggles there, so we've got a we've got a fairly sizable one. Um, we'll build a wall across here. There's some little crates around as well, some supply caches where they'll give us extra um, resources or armor and things like that. So we we'll want to go and grab them when we can. Although going for that one, we've got to be careful of these horse archers. And this one is overlooked by the tower of the panda. But yeah, so that that initial hint said get the panda warlord early. Don't think it was necessarily thinking about the one to the north. Pretty sure it's about this one in the south because they've just got some barricades. Should be fairly easy for us to overwhelm them if we get some archers. They do have some tigers uh, in the cages there called paws and stripes. I'm pretty sure there's some more tigers over here. There's loads of tigers, surprisingly, with the tiger warlord. Uh, who'd have thought? Uh, one of these, I swear, when I checked earlier, oh, that one's called Tigger. I swear one of them was called Tony, which is just brilliant. Another paws. Eldrick. Stripes. Come on, where's Tony the Tiger? Tony the Tiger, there he is. <laughs> Good times. They're great. Um, so, yeah, let's have a quick look at the panda. A speciality is castle defense. Well, actually, when I do that, let's not have a look at the panda yet. Because I want to... We'll come back to that because that unpauses the game. Um, but yeah, speciality for the panda is defense. But as you probably briefly saw there, there is no diplomacy capture, as I mentioned before. We are still going to want diplomacy points, though for this mission. We will want to build some consulates eventually to upgrade the warlords. Um, but yeah, more importantly, as uh, that hint suggested, the order of the warlords. Now, when I tried this mission um, before recording first five or ten minutes, I went for the two pandas first because I thought that was vital. This one to the north is pretty tough to take because you end up drawing in the horse. Plus, the enemy invasions come from this marker over here and this one uh, down here, bottom left. Um, so this one is easier to contain and deal with. The invasions seem to come up here are a bit stronger. So I'm not going to bother with that panda. I'll probably take that one last. So what I'm thinking is we'll go for this panda, then build up a large force to try and take over the tiger and then move on the dragon. And if I'm not mistaken, the tiger and the dragon will both allow me pretty sure to get extra units or launch attacks, which I could then use the warlords to do some of my conquering for me against the other ones, especially like that mouse there with just barricades. The crane's pretty well defended. It's got some good defenses there. Got arrow towers. Um, so that is going to be a tough nut to crack. The horse shouldn't be too difficult um, and nor should that top panda. But I think, yeah, going, prioritizing the tiger and the dragon over here. So these bottom three, I think are going to be uh, more important. Plus, as far as I can see, I can't see any markers over here. There's water, so I can't see the um, the Chu sending invasions from this side. So if we make sure we have a solid defense to the north and the south and enough troops to garrison the walls, we should be able to then sweep east to get those warlords. So let's hope that that strategy works. Um, so we will start by building stuff, uh, which we need to unpause for. Let the game begin! We I'm just going to get some rice. I'm going to get rid of those, though, and just try and optimize my placement a little bit more. Can't build another one there, but that's fine. We've got Sun Tzu there. We're going to pop him back up there. I am going to get myself a barracks pretty quickly as well. I'm just thinking, where am I going to put this? Oh, there we go. We can pop it there. And... Let's recruit those guys all at once, holding down control. I feel like that's new. Either that or I just haven't noticed it before. So yeah, just get our rice going quickly. Let's get some vegetables as well. Okay, let's head on over. I'm gonna stay up here. Because they're drawing these guys out. And we want them to take them out a little bit as well. Okay, 
and have these guys in their own separate group so I can utilize them. Got me some more archers. I am going to spend this gold early on. Buying some more bows. Overwhelm the enemy defenses. Yeah, that's fine. We need to get more stone. So let's get quarries going. Again, trying to... Buffalo tether is required to bring stone to the stockpile, Your Highness. Focus on spending this wood as effectively as possible. I think we're going to need more people as well. We can't afford any fancy houses, so we're going to have to go for some shacks, which I will put just over there for now. Now, there isn't anywhere, as I can see, that we can get wood apart from uh, down here from the panda. I wonder if my woodcutters will actually go over there once we've conquered it and grab it. Um, but it's going to be easier just to, to capture him. I'm pretty sure... One of his abilities is to send us wood shipments, so that's all good. Um, so yeah, castle defense perk is arrows are more likely to deflect off walls. Our rice stocks are dwindling, Excellency. What I'm actually going to do is just sell that. I'm going to increase my taxes as well. I'm sell some veggies, just so I can get all these archers, and then I'm going to send this force over here. The enemy are attacking! A message from Sun Tzu. Do not wait, for our enemy is a massive... Archers, go, 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 go. Just bring down those barricades. Also, these guys attacking at the same time, I'm hoping, are going to distract them. Let's choose our attack time well, and it looks like, yeah, we've done that. Good already. Be careful of these tigers. If we get too close, they'll release them. Uh oh. Quick, 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 quick. Oh, <laughs> tiger charge. Oh, and there's also, yeah, that supply cache there that I hadn't seen. Quick, 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 quick. Oh, March is getting munched by the tiger. So we gained the extra gold there, which is good. That's fine because we're going to need to um, get some more archers, I think. There we go. Right, send all of you guys to go after that one and then get all my archers to just shoot the panda wall all down. Yeah, all through conquest this one and we need to build up our walls a little bit. Gonna get this northern bit secure because we're gonna get attacked up here next. Get that in there. I, mean, I won't worry about extra defenses or anything fancy just yet. Just create a nice wall. Bring him down. Could probably send these guys up there to go get him, but why risk him when we can just shoot him to bits? And I'm assuming as we take out more of the warlords, the invasions are gonna get bigger and bigger, so we need to make sure we up our defense as well um i think i will go for a little bit more diplomacy point generation and just get an early consulate in here because we will want to upgrade the walls that we take and let's get a nice little road around there and we've got more stone available to complete our wall over this way let's start working on one down here He's going to be down any second. Yep, there we go. Right, let's go capture him. Bring these archers back on up because we'll need them. We'll have to send probably defenders to help out the panda so we keep hold of him. I am yours to command. A message from Sun Tzu. A fine strategy. You have experience in war. I can see. Uh, I, I mean, I've, I've dabbled. I've dabbled a few times. So, yeah, the panda. We can get uh, shipments of wood. So we're going to pop that in straight away. Uh, I should have actually done the upgrade then, popped it, but that's fine. Get some shipment of wood going in. Rank 2 and rank 4 will unlock other bits and pieces that we can utilize. Uh, we could keep all of these guys here, which actually, you know what, for now I will do that. Uh, and we'll keep these archers where we need them. Like over here, because that's where two forces are coming. Thankfully, they are in range of that tower, but that's what we're going to have to remember. If we march out here, they are going to shoot us. We don't get the military academy building on this mission. 
So we can't get cavalry to quickly nip on out and grab those supply caches. So we are going to have to send a force out eventually for that. Um, how are we doing on rice? Our rice stocks are dwindling, Excellency. Let's put out the vegetables. Vegetable rations are fine. Can we double that? Not yet. Can we increase tax with that? Just. Just, just, just. Two more rice farms for the moment. There are 52 days. How are we doing over here? Yeah, they're Imperial Infantry, so they're pretty strong. Well, that knocked him off. Is he oh, no, he's still alive. Okay. So probably need to build extra bit of thickness to the wall. And we need crossbows. So what we should start thinking about... I'm just going to see if a woodcutter will go over to Pandaland and grab stuff there. That shipment's still coming on in. Because I want wood so that I can start getting Fletcher's workshops and things like that. What I'm going to do as well so we can upgrade him quickly now. Now that we've got one warlord, let's get two more consulates. Why is popularity dropped? Okay, extra vegetables. Just about counters. Oh, and they've got these guys over here. We are under attack. I'm going to need more troops over here. Which is probably just going to be easier to buy. Our rice stocks are dwindling, I have to sell some veggies. So that I can afford some more archers. Should be enough to deal with them for now. Let's upgrade the panda multiple times. Let's just go go crazy. So we've now got man the walls. Yeah, did not think this through, did I? I haven't finished closed off the wall. So I've got some maximum. Get off my farms. Our rice stocks are dwindling, Excellency. Yeah, because my farms are getting wrecked. That's where he needs the next bit of wall going once these guys are dead. Okay, well done. Just lost the rice farm and we lost the wood camp. But let's make sure that doesn't happen again, or not as easily anyway. Large gatehouse there, and let's have a large gatehouse there. You guys are still over that way. So yeah, back to the panda, because I was having a look at all the other bits. So we've got man the walls. That will um, recruit some missile troops for his walls. And we can request hall of tea, which is actually instant. So we can actually just spend a load of diplomacy on getting a load of tea and then using that as a tea supply to, to boost our popularity. Um, I won't do it just yet, though. I'd rather... I think I'll just get him upgraded to maximum level first. Okay, they've got some catapults now. Just going to keep getting more archers. We need to try and do is get my archers to focus fire on the catapult. Once that down, we won't have to worry about them breaking through. My concern is not actually with my ability to hold off the enemy. It's actually whether I'm going to be quick enough to capture the other walls. I'm thinking, though, once we get the tiger and the dragon, we can use them to capture the others, hopefully. Because I'm assuming they have the... If I'm remembering correctly, they have the... They have the attack um, commands. Or options. Diplomacy points, I should say. Um, yeah, while we're building up, give me some more wood as well. Uh, and what I'm going to do... Oh, they, so right, we've got some iron here. I haven't even looked at the production. We've got Axe Workshop, 
which needs wood. We've got the armor's workshop, which needs iron. And we've got the swordsmith's workshop. So we will need to build iron until we find a warlord that can um, supply it to us. I don't know if any of them can again. Remembering off the top of my head which ones give you what. Until I can click on them. Although, is that iron over there? No, that's a big old statue. What it looked like it there. We've got 48 days. I have a feeling it'll be... You know, down to maybe like 20 days to capture Tiger and Dragon, and hopefully a big push after that. That's what I'm, that's what I'm placing my bets on at the moment. Um, defenses, arrow turrets, I mean, a, a Manganel platform probably wouldn't be terrible. Well, it's good targeting siege weapons at range. It will need that. That's what we'll need. Yeah, I wonder if I can get away with these woodcutters. If they're worth, if they're worth doing. Our rice stocks are dwindling How are we doing efficiency. on that? We need a little bit more. One like one more vegetable plot, I think. Should just to get about keep things um positive. Oh, I can get more veggies there. Lovely. Yeah, and then we'll build a load of our get our own production up. But if we can get plenty of gold, we can buy buy the stuff we need. That's what I'm hoping. I could get the final consulate. And then it's just embassies to get. Welcome to Consulate Street. And this will be Embassy Row over here. Can get some Imperial Warriors. I'm wondering if I should start thinking about crossbows, actually. So we've got the armor. Yep. Let's get some crossbows because the enemy are going to be sending tougher forces, I'm sure. For the moment, I'm going to pop them up here. And what I'm also going to do is plump up my walls a bit. Make them a bit thicker, a bit stronger. Whoop. Whoop. Hit a hole. And another one. That's fine. It can be fixed. There we go. Perfect castle design. Um, right. Let's mm, leave them there. Probably some more arches along this first wall, but got plenty of wood coming in. How are we doing here? We can upgrade the panda. Maximum rank. Let's put man the walls. I'm pretty sure they are just tribesmen, though, that are deployed. Blowpipes, yeah. So nothing particularly crazy. Uh, I might repair the castle, actually, as well, when we get a little bit more diplomacy in. As you wish. Just give those barricades out. And I think it puts the tigers back. I probably should ready a force to try and go out and grab the supplies there. Even if it's just a throwaway force. I wonder if I can throw those axemen up there to go grab it. Risk it. But yeah, we're going to need to take out the tiger. Um, we can build a siege camp, which is good. Uh, but you know, I, can, I can get cavalry. I was thinking, oh, I can get cavalry. I've got to get my own stables, though. Oh, we got some, we got some weapons. Nice. Get back, get back, get back. I mean, actually, you're so, you're so weakened at this point. Just go death and glory. Need to buy some more iron for them to work on. Um. So, yeah. Siege. We should go for the tiger soon. There's a lot of archers. So if I get a load of crossbows to deal with them, deal with those tigers as well, that would be grand. Man the walls again. Man the walls again. And send me wood. I feel like we've got a lot stacked up in there at the moment. That's fine. Yeah, they are able to go get wood. They've got the tigers back again. They haven't attacked me for a little bit, which is good. Um, yes, we got swords and we got armor. I'm thinking we'll need. Oh, uh, just on cue, clearly. Oh, they're sending in some. Right, yeah, we need crossbows to deal with that. Our rice stocks are dwindling, Excellency. Mm, rice is actually growing. It's the vegetables that we're down on. Oh, 
which we'll need them for. And I should, yeah, go for a ballista platform next, I think, in the north. Just need more gold. I'm wondering if I could... Could I get that request the tea and then sell it? It probably wouldn't sell for that much, though, would it? We also need that siege camp for some... Bits of I don't even know if we're limited on siege weapons, actually, yet. Have any look at that. So we're a quarter of the way through our time. Slow, so slow. Quick, woodcutter, attack. Oh, yeah, go close enough to the tigers. Yes. Go, Eldrick. Oh, oh um, Eldrick, you've uh, yeeted him on top of the wall, which is not good for us. Get vengeance, pause. Nice. Well done. Are we? Are we? Are we shooting as well? Oh, they're just totally feral. Ah. Not enough gold. How much stone have I? Oh, I can totally sell some stone. Here we go. The Chu are attacking again, Highness. Ah, uh, yeah, larger force this time. Okay, they've stepped up their attacks. Actually, all of you guys should go up in the tower as well, shouldn't you? All those ladders could be deadly. Let's get some infantry to watch that. They get ladders up, then we're a little bit screwed. That's it. Bring down the laddermen, then they can't get back up to attack us. Nice. No. On there, please. Good. Stuff. Good stuff, right. Our rice stocks are dwindling, Excellency. Nah, you're fine, don't worry about it. Keep selling the rice. I think we'll need some infantry to cover us as well. We need more armor, though. Desperately need more armor. What I'm going to do, though, is place that ballista platform up here. And then I'm going to look to get some more armor production going. The armor is there. All right. Another armorer. Uh, I need a little bit more gold. More gold needed, my lord. Okay, veggie production is now perfectly balanced. There we go. How much iron have you got? None. Not enough gold. Dang it. We have some iron. Yeah, we need to get on over and get that tiger. Got plenty of um Your goods have been sent. Your goods have been sent. Plenty of diplomacy points stored up. So we can sort of try to instantly upgrade. Our We've now got some tea. So what I'm thinking is we go for a tea house. Pop it there. It'll start using up my tea. But that'll keep people happy. And we'll keep well, ordering we'll some when we need some right, we need the siege camp as well. Need to buy more iron for them though. Sell that. Sell the rice. Sell the veggies. And then we're going to need gold to siege it, aren't we? <sighs> we also need to get troops out to defend. Ay, 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 ay. Actually, I'm going to send you guys out. Here we go. 
because I think the panda is protected. I think I've really got to get a wiggle on now, or I'm in trouble. What can I get? Get ballista, I can get a catapult. Okay. Catapults it is. Um, because we can repair their walls. But catapults just to break apart that little bit, I think. They're attacking from over here. Okie dokie. Your goods have been sent. Your goods have top up the tea as much as we can. Are oh, they going to go over here? Wreck him crossbows. Our rocks are loaded. We are under attack. Not enough gold. We're under attack over here now, are we? Yeah, we're doing fine. We're going to help you. Where are we going? Catapults loaded. At your command. Oh, That's it. Take out the tigers. No ladders on the walls over here. Good. I think their attacks are only going to get more intense. These guys just cost a lot, but we can get a load of infantry out if we let our gold build up a little bit. Should probably get stuff like clothing and everything else. On the go. Just take out the tigers. Nice. Good hit. A fine hit. Sorry, tigers. Oh, we just killed Tony. Let all the gold build up. Your goods have been sent. Probably just shoot them down from here, but yeah, take out that corner, although. Crossbows as well. Move into position. To protect. You guys can take some damage, but I need you to clear the walls. Where's the siege? Our rocks are loaded. Come on. Go, go, go. Just take them all down. Go. Keep firing, keep firing, keep firing. Focus on the rest of them. 
射击，准备赴死，向前！弩手们蠢蠢欲动，小伙子们，有需要我们上场了。我们准备就绪，谁需要射击 ？Fix fire, fix fire, fix fire. 
弓箭手就绪。Not enough gold. I need to increase my taxes a bit. Our rice stocks are dwindling, Excellency. I even get silkworms. I can. They take a little while to get going, but. The enemy are attacking. Don't worry about that. Order confirmed. Let's get you guys over here. Where's the siege? Sorry, cat pulse wasn't paying attention to you. Just get a hole going in the walls. Catapults at the ready. They're gonna get taken down pretty quick. Catapults loaded. The enemy has broken through our castle walls. And they're now sending a, sending a large attack to attack the panda, and I don't have the defenders this time to help them out. The enemy approach as you wish. Your goods have been sent. Nope. Uh, panda's going down. They are making it through, so we can probably launch another dragon attack. That might be enough, actually, to hold them, hold them off. I think we may have done it, you know. Yeah, they're down. They're still going through. They are really resilient, actually. Weapons needed, Highness. More crossbows. So slow. Get you moving. Tiger's attack still going. I, I think we're going to run out of time. This is really tough. <laughs> We might need to commit on my own Imperial troops to push through. Repair your castle. Then we'll launch a new attack. I think we should be able to get through this time. They've taken the panda to the north. That's all right, because I can probably take it easier. Now, see, they're pushing out that way now. Take out the rockets, the arrows. Because they will shred us. Take out the mantlet. Quick, 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 quick. And down the rocket cart, please. Yikes. Oh, they got another one coming as well. Rodiek. Just as I pull all my Imperial troops away as well. I've got to send them back now. Do catapults go. 
长官，谨遵命令。Because I now need to buy more supplies here. Our rice stocks are dwindling, Excellency. Oh, we're out of people. Uh, we're out of tea. Your goods have been sent. They've cleared all of that, have they? They've still got some rockets active as well. Where are they going? They're going to go conquer the other warlords. Okay. I mean, that distracts their forces a little bit. Might make it a little bit easier for me, but it, we are getting so close. Where's the siege? Where's the siege? To our own time being up. Take out these guys. They're pushing through here. They're doing pretty well. Get my troops up here to help. Press the attack. Take out their archers. Get on the walls, guys. Oh, they've gone out the front. No, that's not what I meant. I probably need to just put some stairs in this side. But I can't because the enemy's too close. How are we doing? Yeah, we are through. Just have to keep these attacks going. It's going to be close. That is, if I don't get defeated here now. I am yours to command. Send relief force. Yeah, upgrade you. Launch an attack My army on the crane. At your command. So, uh, you have a friend. Jiang Guan, you have a friend. I serve a new master. Take him out. Catapults loaded. We just fire that last shot there to go through that wall. Go for the crane as well. I think we're going to do this by the skin of our teeth. Take him out. Yeah, what can we use the dragon for? Uh, fire cart relief force. Uh, upgrade you again. Then we can launch an attack. Yep, perfect. So, uh, you have a Our rocks are loaded. Take him out. Let's hope this is enough to go after them with that single attack. We can send these guys to go capture up there. So, go for it. What I really need to do, I, I was thinking of get, getting an embassy, but I really need more crossbows. To defend my wall along here. So the next attack is going to be huge. It'll probably attack me from the south where I'm totally not ready for one. Go. <laughs> Not enough gold. 
just starting to work on silk workshop production, but I don't know if we'll actually need this or not. I am yours to command. Nice, we got the crane. We actually need. Yeah, well, we're going to get this one, I think. Yep, so we need two more. Oh, come on. Our rocks are loaded. He should be easy. That one's already been taken. The enemy are attacking. Yeah, from the south. What? How big of a force is it? Fairly substantial. Head on down. Dragon launch attack there. Let's hope these guys can go take that one quickly. I don't know why, why we actually told them to do that attack because we'll definitely get them. Go hit that one. Oh, I think we're going to just do it, you know. Oh. I think we will. More crossbows. Oh, so slow. Oh, okay. Pandas. Man the walls. Ah, oh, dragon, you've stopped, haven't you? No, dragon. Do it. Oh, it's because they've got no master. That's why. Oh, we've still got to get through all those troops. Oh, wait, no. I thought he was kneeling. Uh, no, I think they've just given up. Oh, he's going down like butter. Okay, go for the mouse. Okay, oh, wow. Okay, no, really worried about that now. Really worried about that. Okay, yeah, they've got Siege Ballista. Okay, it's gotten worse. The mouse, get the mouse, get the mouse. Because all we need to do is actually capture it, even if we're still under attack. As long as we capture that last warlord, we should be okay. We've just got to get the cap in before we die. Down to the ruddy wire. Shoot him to bits. Shoot him to bits. Go up there. Go get him. Oh, you're gonna you're gonna get him real quick, 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 quick. Enemy approach. Oh no, they're going for the panda. One of you go for the cat. Swords, turn back round this way. Man, the walls, quick! Slow him down. <laughs> No, Panda! I got him! I got him! Just did it! Just did it! Yes! Oh! Victory by the skin of our teeth! Oh, wow! <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. Doesn't matter. We still held on to all three, all seven warlords right at the end as we were being besieged. Well, yeah, that was that was tough. Already feel like that's one of the, the tougher missions I've had uh, in Stronghold Warlords. So if it only gets more difficult from there, uh, I'm going to be in trouble. And if you want to see me in trouble trying to get through the rest of this campaign, then tune in every Friday uh, over on my Twitch channel www.twitch.tv forward slash lionheartx10. Uh, I tend to stream Stronghold Warlords every Friday morning. I also record it and upload it here on YouTube. So I will be uploading each of these missions as I do them throughout the Sun Tzu uh, Art of War DLC campaign over the next few days and weeks. Uh, so feel free to subscribe if uh, you haven't done already and want to see more Stronghold Warlords uh, Art of War campaign action. Again, big thanks to Firefly for sponsoring this video. And again, if you want to pick up uh, this new campaign for Stronghold Warlords. You can find a link to it in the description. Go check it out. It is 10% off on Steam and GOG on its launch week. So yeah, check it out. Until the next one, 
Hope you've enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Take pride and join the Legion. Till the next one. Ciao for now.